think of dorm life, you think of college students, but now adults are getting wise to it with co-living. Co-living is an emerging trend in housing that enriches the resident life experience and provides a space for them to feel at home. Companies such as Ollie and Common are developing living spaces that usually involves a room or a very small studio within a building that has common areas to enjoy, and people are lining up for it. The response to date has been really overwhelming. The buildings, when we open them up, within a matter of months, we could have already filled them up you know, several times over. According to Ollie's co-founder and CEO, Christopher Bledsoe, it isn't just about millennials. About one out of every four or five inquiries that we receive into our website is from a baby boomer and they're dipping their toe into urbanizing. So what's the big appeal? First, the cost. We're getting a value proposition to the consumer, offering, offering convenience, comfort, and community in a way that's packaged together and at price points that just aren't otherwise available. With the average rent in New York City about $3,600 a month, according to Rent Cafe, co-living communities are changing the rental landscape by lowering costs with creative use of space. Examples of how we're uh, eliminating square footage is we're combining bedrooms and living rooms into one where a bed becomes a sofa or even a coffee table that once was stationary now making it movable so that that coffee table can pop up and become a TV tray. Ollie's Manhattan locations start at $2,600 and Commons Brooklyn locations start at just over $1,300 for a private room. And it's not just the all-inclusive price tag that makes these so attractive, it's the amenities. With Ollie, you have access to concierge service, to social clubs. It feels like you're living in a hotel in a city. They also include housekeeping, and many are fully furnished. The desire for on-demand living, where you can show up into the apartment for the first time with a backpack full of clothes, a laptop, and some toiletries, and you're ready to go, that has great appeal to not just this generation of uh, millennials, but many other renters as well. And finally, co-living provides built-in communities that build friendships. Co-living provides opportunities to bring others into your household, to live with roommates who you're compatible with, or to live on your own, but amidst a community where there's a community manager that whose sole responsibility is to drive engagement, whether that's attending uh, weekend brunches or um, ski trips. And providing activities is a key factor to the communal living model. Look for this housing option to go beyond the high rent markets of New York, D.C., San Francisco, and L.A. because people want true connections. At Ollie, we like to think that co-living is not the absence of privacy, but the celebration of community. Welcome to a new way of living at the top of the list.